So as you go to the smaller geometries, there is a natural increase in computational complexity. And in fact, it's, it's pretty severe. As you go from 65 nanometer to 40 nanometer, for example, there's an increase in geometry count by 2x. And there's also a 2x increase in the complexity of the design rules themselves. Um, there's a very good IBM paper which uh, discusses this about the, what they call the uh, rule deck complexity explosion that's occurring as we go to these deeper process nodes. And so there's a great deal of awareness that the cost of physical verification as you go from 65 to 40 nanometer is something that you just can't tolerate. A 4x increase in turnaround time, a 4x increase in the number of licenses that you need, a 4x increase or more in the hardware cost needed to run the software is something that is you know, causing a real problem in the industry. So what we've done is we've revolutionized physical verification. We have a product, Quartz DRC and Quartz LVS, which is based off of a fundamentally different architecture compared to what's offered by the legacy tools. Um, this architecture is able to scale well, very well across a large number of CPU cores, a large number of CPUs, or a large number of low-cost Linux machines on an engineering network. So what we see is we're able to very effectively solve this performance challenge, which is very natural from 65 to 40, 40 to 28, or even 28 to 22, by scaling efficiently across 8, 16, 32, 64, hundreds of CPU cores. So we address both the performance side, the cost side, and also uh, the software cost side, and also the hardware cost side. And this is a solution that's been adopted by many of the largest companies worldwide doing advanced design. Um, we have press releases and testimonials from TSMC, from Samsung, from Toshiba, from NVIDIA, and many other leading companies like that. So when you go to 65 nanometer and below, one of the key points is that standalone physical verification, while still needed for sign-off, really has to be integrated tightly into your physical implementation flow. Whereas before you could run a standalone DRC LVS tool after you had completed place in a route, that's clearly no longer sufficient. And the impact that customers will see is an increasing amount of iterations between running place and route and sign off physical verification. What Magma has done is integrated Quartz DRC and Quartz LVS very tightly with our uh, Talus place and route product. And this is something that's been available for the last two or three years and now is actually the uh, leading uh, market leader for this type of solution. So beyond basic DRC and LVS, which we do very well, there are many opportunities to expand this technology into areas that help designers. Um, yield analysis, uh, doing, uh, improving timing, improving power, these are all capabilities that we've added into the tool. Um, some examples that I'll highlight, uh, one is timing-driven pattern-based fill. This is a requirement by foundries at 40 nanometer. Um, we are the first ones to offer this capability. It's a combined capability between Quartz and Talus. This is also part of TSMC's uh, BKM, or best known methodology flow that they've announced for 40 nanometer. Um, we also have a capability for ERC and ESD checking. Um, this is an area that designers have struggled with for many years. It's something that's inherently difficult with traditional DRC and LVS tools, but something that we do very well natively within Quartz, uh, the Quartz product. Another example of what we've done, and this is a paper that IBM published with us at our uh, uh, users group meeting this past spring, is uh, the ability to do recommended rule or yield scoring on a design. This is something that's an extension of the basic DRC capability and is something that our customers have used successfully in production tape outs.